situated in one of the world's friendliest mining jurisdictions. I Am Gold's Cote Gold project is positioned midway between two of the most established mining centers in Northern Ontario. With Timmins 130 kilometers to the north and Sudbury 170 kilometers to the south. This region of the Canadian Shield is well served by an excellent infrastructure of paved highways and rail lines and is within easy reach of the hydroelectric power grid. The Cote Gold Mineral Resource is simply immense. With a surface area of 360,000 square meters, it's equivalent to 51 soccer fields. Dropping through the surface, you can see that the deposit is huge and bulky. The northeast-southwest trending deposit is greater than 1,200 meters long and extends to a depth more than 500 meters below surface. Coherent high-grade zones are evident. Looking at a cross-sectional view, you can see the 300 meter width of the deposit defined to date with higher-grade areas shown in warmer colors. By slowly turning the deposit, its sheer size becomes even more evident. You can envisage the scope of the future operation, the large mining blocks, the number and size of the trucks and shovels, the potential for simple grade control and low dilution, a large bulk tonnage mining operation that lends itself to significant economies of scale. Here, you can see the 5-meter drill hole composites used in the February 24, 2012 resource estimate. The estimate incorporated data up to mid-December 2011 based on sample assays from 132 holes representing 65 kilometers of drilling. As we include the drill holes as of May 15th, you can see how the extent of the deposit has expanded down dip and laterally in both the northeast and southeast directions. The drill holes highlighted in green were completed as of June 1st, 2012, more than doubling the total number of holes completed since the February estimate. These holes will be incorporated into the 2012 year-end resource estimate. We expect to convert a substantial proportion of the resource into the indicated category for the year and resource update. We expect the majority of the deposit to be defined by the first quarter of 2013 as we push towards future economic studies. The conceptual pit shown here is based on the pit shell used to identify mineralization with reasonable prospects of economic recovery as defined in the February Mineral Resource Estimate. From this, it's evident that a large proportion of the pit shell's volume is occupied by mineralization, which would indicate a low waste to ore mine stripping ratio. The 50 degree pit slopes used in the February estimate may be somewhat aggressive in some sectors. Ongoing geotechnical work will help define more appropriate pit angles. The February 24th estimate was based on a cutoff grade of 0.3 grams of gold per ton. At a 0.5 gram per ton cutoff, the average grade of the inferred resource increases to more than 1 gram of gold per ton while reducing the total contained ounces by only 12%. This illustrates how well the ore body holds together without having to sacrifice a lot of ounces. Many options are available as to how the resource can be exploited. While drilling to date shows the limits of the Cote Gold deposit are defined to the southwest direction, the deposit remains open for expansion, particularly in the north and to the southeast. The 516 square kilometer property remains largely underexplored for the Cote Gold style of mineralization. As the Cote Gold project is advanced, I Am Gold will continue to explore this district-scale land package to realize its full potential.